Hello everyone. Hola a todos. Today we want to talk about the second part of the story, how we start our life in Korea. Mm. I feel like this is the moment we can actually talk about it. Mm. And today, like nowadays, everything is fine, right? No bad mm. feelings. Exactly. Uh, we are really good place. Let's say emotionally and with your family. Mm. But if you ask us like seven years ago, seven years ago, It'll we be... will never believe we are going to get to this mm. point, right? Exactly. Yeah, seven years ago, we couldn't wait this video. Like we couldn't even talk about this because it was a lot of too much to talk about. Too much to talk about. Oh, first, if you haven't watched the first episode, how we met, please go back and watch. Mm -hmm. So you're going to understand better what right. we are talking about right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I arrived to Korea. And that's how we finished first episode. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for the job interview, I came to Korea first, right? And we start having a long distance relationship. After graduation, I was living with my parents. I was telling my mom that I have a girlfriend, but she's from Colombia. So she, her reaction was interesting. But anyway, she didn't say anything bad, anything weird. She just didn't take me seriously. Seriously. Mm. Mm. So I told her probably I want to invite her, invite her to Korea, so stay in our place. So she said she, she said okay. Okay. She was really <laughs> cool about it. She didn't know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know what's coming. Yeah, we didn't know what's coming. So so she gave me word it's okay. Mm -hmm. 2013 August. Mm -hmm. So she finally arrived mm -hmm. Korea. But before that, I remember one of my classmates in my school, one of my schools in Boston. Mm. She was like a Korean Ajuma, like... Um, Even had a kid? Yeah, she had a kid and she was studying also, like studying English. And then mm. I remember she knew, like, I was coming to Korea to visit my Korean boyfriend. So I remember once she talked to me and said, I'm actually worried about you because as Korean, I know <clears throat> Korean men, they don't really take seriously to foreigners. They just want to date them, but they don't really want to marry. So I believe you shouldn't go to Korea. But I was so naive, right? I was like, it's <laughs> fine. He loves me. Don't worry, everything is fine. But I think that that was the first red flag because I didn't really know I was what I was getting to. So, no, I was serious. No, but... yeah, but I didn't really know much about Korean society. <laughs> so, anyways, I remember I arrived. Nincheon and the first thing I thought was oh my god this is such a beautiful and clean airport mm. I was really amazed and it was nice after a really long flight I was happy to be here and happy to see him I was really <laughs> happy happy to see you yeah really. couldn't believe you were, though, you were in Korea yeah me too me too of course that was mm. crazy feeling and after being apart for seven months mm. it was really good to see each other again mm. I think first first two weeks mm -hmm. you came to Korea was mm -hmm. amazing. Mm. My parents treated you well, nothing nothing was wrong. Mm -hmm. So all happiness. Yeah, know? just vacation and having mm. fun. It was summer so it was exciting and fun. And I took you to the Nami Island. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you took me he took me to Nami Island on my birthday. So it's like in summer, really hot and Even though I'm from Colombia, people think I tolerate hot weather well, but I don't because my city is not hot, mm. so I don't like hot weather. And he also gave me really spicy food. So I mean, after a really long trip, plus, you know, summer plus the spicy food, I was so sick. I mean, that was my first summer actually. I <laughs> came, came back to Korea, so... Yeah. yeah, anyway, we were having fun and we feel really good with each other, right? Like. Mm. Yeah, we yeah. didn't feel awkward. I couldn't, ask, I couldn't ask more. Yeah, we didn't feel uncontrolled or awkward or anything. We were just natural to be together, mm. right? So, True. then what happened? Then, <laughs> after two weeks, my mom started asking me, you know, how serious we are. Somehow mm. she started asking me okay, if I'm going to marry you. <laughs> so, of course, I didn't think about it. I yeah, was getting married you. Yeah. But then all of a sudden she asked me, so I didn't know what to tell her. But yeah, that question was a little bit too sudden. Yeah, too sudden, yeah. too awkward. Yeah. But and then, maybe a couple of days later, she looked really anxious. 
when she was really Maybe worried. Maybe she felt you're yeah. getting too much, like we are getting too much. Yeah, we, she thought we are going to marry. <laughs> but anyway, since she started getting anxious about us, we, like we are really serious, ask me a lot about us since that point. Mm -hmm. So I, we felt kind of uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And then we feel like she starts saying like she doesn't want us to be together or something like that. Mm. Right? Like the situation started getting uncomfortable and... I didn't really give her an answer. So she, she kind of giving me the idea I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be with you. Uh, yeah. And at some point it was getting out of control. Because you guys start fighting, right? You guys start, I remember oh, that part, I mean, start I mean, yes, fighting a lot, course. like, because I was a foreigner and you shouldn't be even dating me and something like that. Giving me the idea that we are not definitely ready to be together mm -hmm. and ready to be married because of language, culture, and we don't have savings, so we cannot survive. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, we didn't even think about marriage at that point. My dad figured, I want to be with you and I, I'm serious about you. So he got so furious. He felt like uh, he got betrayed by me. I was going to against. He's telling me I shouldn't be with her. Even though we get so well along, like we get along so well, but then we start having all this pressure around like, hmm. we should break up and yeah. Yeah, there's no middle point. I was talking with my parents, trying to convince them about it. Nothing worked. I beg, I cry, I even screamed, but nothing worked. Vice versa. So there's no middle point. They just want me to break up, but I don't want to. Because she is smart, she's pretty. I feel like I can I can grow with her. I grow I grow as a person, I grow as as man. So why should I be breaking up? And finding yeah, other Korean. Yeah, we didn't have a reason to break out because mm. we really love each other and we were crazy yeah. about each other, right? Exactly. My parents started calling around my friends, my family to ask, to ask, convince me like mm. I shouldn't be with you. Mm. But all of a sudden everybody's around me, they calling me like I shouldn't because of this and that. The reason was I'm the, foreign. Yeah, the reason was she's foreign, so my life would be totally screwed. Some of them actually really said that our baby would be dealing with the difficulties because it's mixed baby. A lot of people said also baby and also our language and even culture. You gonna you gonna actually adjust. You gonna follow the culture. So I shouldn't be giving me all the different reasons. I don't even remember everything, but anyway. So I, I was really under pressure, getting really stressed. I had to consider again and again, actually I'm going right decision mm -hmm. or not. But I don't also want to be lose her. So I was like yeah. somewhere getting crazy. So it was surprising and uh, for me it was really hard to take because I mean, I couldn't really understand why they don't like me just based on my nationality. Like the rejection is not because of me as a person, but just the because I'm not Korean, I couldn't really get that far. I didn't really get Korean culture at that point. Mm. So I was really shocked. Mm. I feel, I remember the feeling, it never happened before like this. He keeps saying, it's not because of you, it's just because you are a foreigner. But it was so hard to understand, mm. like why they hate me so much because I'm a foreigner. I couldn't really get that point. Same feeling I have. Mm. Yeah, it was really difficult to take and I remember I was so stressed out that at some point I couldn't really walk well. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? You had a back pain. Yeah, why are you laughing? <laughs> Stop. It shouldn't be funny. I know it shouldn't be funny, but you couldn't walk. I couldn't. I have. Really I, I remember you had a really serious back pain. Back pain. So, so I, I, have to, yeah. I have to go to the. What is that? A carpenter? Well, I, I have to go to get a carpenter because it was really painful. But everything was because of the stress. Stress. Yeah, the yeah stress. I, remember. I remember. Stop laughing. I remember, but you, you said you couldn't walk. So, I, But anyway, it was a horrible, horrible, horrible feeling. Yeah, the we feeling like... We are getting like, rejected. Some reasons we cannot really follow. We cannot really accept the reasons. Mm. 
I still don't know how we stay. <laughs> I love I love you too much, but when I think about it, like the easiest thing for me was just come back to Colombia. That was the easiest thing. Mm. I should just, you yeah. know what? I don't want to deal with this. I don't need this rejection. I can just go to work salon in Colombia. I have my family and friends there. Goodbye. Yeah. That would be the easiest thing to do. Same for me. I right? just could meet another Korean, Korean woman. Mm -hmm. So it could be a lot easier. A lot easier. Mm. I felt like a whole world around me trying to stop us. But my feeling about her was getting stronger and stronger. So I I told her, please stay. We can we can make it. We can go through. <laughs> Right? When I think about it, I think we were crazy. Like I mean, definitely, I was. We were crazy. We were crazy. So he asked me to stay, and somehow, okay, I say yes. I I want to also be with you for for now. Let's see, right? Two weeks left. Oh, two weeks and left. And a lot of drama, a lot of fights. So I'm getting really uncomfortable, of course, in being with them in the house. So I have to get out from the house. Probably. I it was too much to ask my parents, right? Yeah. I was living in my, with my parents, but yeah. I invite you there. In the first place, yeah, I was wrong. Yeah. Right now, I think about it. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Right. Maybe. I mean, yeah, we didn't. I we didn't really expect what was happening. Yeah. I mean, I I just graduated back then. Yeah. So. I because we I thought was like keep. we thought like coming to Korea just for one two weeks is too short, so maybe mm. one month will be better. But yeah, things got crazy, and then I have to leave the house because mm. I cannot take any more the fights because of mm. me. Mm. So when we figure um, we want to be together and I want to stay longer before my visa expires, mm. we decide to try to find a house, mm. and then we went checking like. Apartments around Seoul. Neighborhood, my parents live. <laughs> <laughs> but then his dad found out we were trying to find a house and it was so bad. Like he got and so he furious. He was furious. And, oh man. He never would accept that point. Mm. He said never. Never. Never, never. Mm. But before the room is ready, I have to stay with your co worker and the, yeah. and the wife. <laughs> they welcome me in their house actually another international couple like japanese and korean couple and yeah i felt really sorry <sighs> i feel yeah it was like really awkward situation but anyway they are nice people and they understand our situation so i feel like okay i can talk to somebody and i mm. yeah i stay with them and then my room was ready so i moved in to this place, it was just really small, one room. Yeah, rooftop. Rooftop, house. yes. It has like just little kitchen and the bathroom, and it was a nice neighborhood. I really like it, but it was really small. Mm, really small. But in order to get that room, we need like five hundred dollars per month, and then we need the deposit, like almost ten thousand grants. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just started working, so probably I work. Two months. I also talk about my situation to close friend, and he actually offered me if I couldn't get a loan from the bank, he can he can lend can us. Can lend us the money because grand. I mean I I came with some money right, but I didn't really have ten grand to pay for the yeah. deposit. So I mean I didn't even have, savings. have savings. I just started working. So fortunately, he offered. Oh, he offered. He was so lucky. Yeah. So yeah, we have to get this money for me to stay there mm. at least for three months. And I moved there to be at least till my visa expired. Mm. And then, okay, so what happened? <laughs> so she moved out and I was still living with my parents. And I come and go. At some point, they asked me, I have to choose between my parents and, and you. So I chose you. 